Yesterday, one of the largest and longest running scams in Twitch history was brought to light. It was led by a streamer named It's Slicker, and it wasn't like some big, tight operation or anything. It's Slicker is a streamer that was friends with many other streamers and had a very strong community. And over the course of a couple years, he asked many of his viewers, his mods, and his friends for loans, promising to pay them back within a few months, but never did. And in total, it looks like he may have scammed around $300,000 from viewers, mods, and friends. However, the exact total isn't known, and yesterday, Slicker even admitted all of it on stream. It, and I just want to preface this video by saying it, it, it does involve gambling. Slicker has a self-admitted gambling addiction, and it's a very serious and debilitating illness, but it doesn't excuse any of Slicker's behavior. The scamming is absolutely indefensible. Now what you're going to see is the real-time investigation that I conducted on stream that'll show the whole story and go over everything. These are some hefty accusations here. I'm going to have to get the monocle out and take a peek for myself. Get to the bottom of this one. He got 27k from a streamer? I feel like we're just making shit up now. I, I, I don't believe that. A, a streamer gave him 27k? Lent him 27k? Who? Scroll down. I, I don't want spoilers. I want to go in order. Yo, Typhoon, what's up, baby? Um, I hope you don't hate me on this. It's so cringe, and I'm cringe for asking my brother, please do not hate me. No. Keep it personal as well. Basically, um, my bank account got locked. This has happened for like three, four days. I've been asking around people, sadly... Um, today, well, tomorrow is the last day, um, until my- Just a, just a quick pet peeve, I don't mean to immediately cut him off. I hate videos that are like this. The pretending to look busy. Oh, it's also really low, isn't it? I still have it set on, uh, volume from last night here, sorry. I- I hate it. Like, he's just acting like he's got things going on, like, shuffling around the house at a weird angle. Oh, It's- it's just such a weird vibe. Like, if you're gonna film a video, just- just sit still and do it. Don't just like wander around aimlessly like an NPC glitching out in a quest line. It's, it's just much simpler. It got locked out and I was looking for people that actually work and that could I and I could ask if I could borrow from and I'll pay back. Genuinely, give me two months and I can pay back. If you can't, no worries my brother, if you can. But please, um, don't feel forced to say yes. Yeah, I'm sorry, I couldn't get in the call to do this. It's so I'm, I feel genuinely embarrassed. I've asked a few streamers; they couldn't help. And oh, yeah, I don't. Don't be embarrassed. No shame. Um, so I just went out, asked a few subs I've noticed, and yeah, and that's why I also asked for your age because I don't. Okay. So the story is, he asked his viewers as well as streamers, I suppose, to send him money, saying he'd pay them back in two months, and never has. That's the gist of it, right? Turn up more. I mean, it's maxed on both OBS and here. It's just he was doing, like, ASMR for this fucking video. Okay, and then I, yeah. I saw this in the comments, but I haven't clicked any yet. So let's go through these. Hopefully this is chronologically ordered. It's LSF. I would expect nothing else. Alphabetized as well. Perhaps using the Dewey Decimal System. Read the convo, still got my issue with money, you can't borrow for a few days, and I bust back. Nah, sorry bro, legit, what's the issue anyway? 200 quid for 300, can't be bothered explaining, long story with my accountant, you get that in two days or less, or even today or tomorrow, you get an extra 100 quid. Sounds like a RuneScape scam. I'm assuming this is just a viewer. Oh, is, oh okay, I see. So at the end of the clip, I thought I might have misheard him because he's fucking whispering into my ear like little sweet nothings. He asked his age, didn't he? That's what he said at the end of the clip, right? It's okay. Um, so I just went out, asked a few subs I've noticed, and yeah. That's why I also asked for your age because I don't... That's why I also asked for your age. It looks like he did that to a lot of people because this starts with, I'm almost 17 and yeah. Which means he probably asked, how old are you? Okay. Wait, you work at 16? What the fuck? Yeah, kind of common. At 16, bro? Never mind, I need a fave, but I feel you're young to ask. Oh. God, what a, oh, what a creepy vibe. Jesus. My bank got temp locked and I need to buy my mother a plane ticket to Iraq since my GMA got corona. 
Plane ticket costs 575 but I don't know, man. I don't know who to ask. I won't ask a streamer because their ego is nasty as fuck. <laughs> One of his loyal viewers gave him 7k? Oh, God! October, November, December, June... Oh, my Lord. These were monthly payments. What was he running? A, a, a protection racket or something? Like the Mafia? What did he do with the money? Like, does he just spend it on, like, gambling? Does he, like, dump it into cars? What does he do? Full disclosure, I'm not super familiar with Slicker. I've only met him, like, twice. One of them was during a League of Legends tournament, and that was pretty miserable. Not because of him, just the tournament itself. We just got steamrolled. So I'm not, like, really familiar with him overall. But this seems uh, pretty bad. It's always the same stuff. I don't understand. As a streamer, how can you be so low IQ? Everything gets leaked. Literally everything gets leaked. So if you're scamming viewers and streamers alike, how can you possibly think for one second that's never going to come up? <laughs> God. It has to be gambling. It has, it has to be gambling. I can't imagine what else he's spending this money on. Is he big into gambling? Every, literally everyone is saying yes. Does he gamble on stream or is this just like a like an in-person thing? Yeah, that's what chat was saying. He took 28k from someone named Luca. Or Jesus, Luke AFK. We haven't gotten that far yet. That's just like a little spoilers from chat. Such a weird cold open too. Yo, bro. Yo, how old are you? <laughs> like who who opens with that? Well, this time he actually did a call. Damn, this one was only, like, three weeks ago. August 29th. Oh my god, <laughs> this one was last week! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> what the fuck? And then the streamers people mentioned Minx, Ludwig, Slime, and Luke AFK. Is there any others? So, apparently Ludwig and Slime both gave him money. Uh, Minx gave him money, and Luke AFK apparently gave 27k. Or 28k. Yeah. I lost 27,000. Um, oh, from fuck. giving a, a lens to uh, Slicker. Um, God, that's so painful. I thought painful. I could trust him. And I, I guess I just couldn't, bro. And I, I'm honestly like, I'm, I'm really, I'm really fucking sad about it. Um, you know, like I, I'm actually. Well, as anyone would be, twenty-seven grand, twenty-seven thousand barnacles. Oh, bro, that guy probably thought himself a saint for a while. Like, damn, that's my good deed for the next five years. Because I mean, judging by all these screenshots. Slicker was coming up with really big sob stories, so he was probably like, damn, I just saved this guy's life. When really all he did was fund a couple extra spins. That's a year's wage for some people. Yeah, yeah it is. That's a lot of doubloons. He asked me to in DMs on Twitter. I'm ex-staff, I'm ex-Twitch staff admin, he asked me out of the blue on Twitter. And he signed a gambling sponsorship a couple days ago and got paid up front 5k. Jesus Christ. I'm almost insulted he never asked me. What the fuck? Why would... I, I'm not good enough to ask ask for money? Okay, Slicker. Whatever. I don't think I follow him on Twitter. That might be why. Damn. Drats. <laughs> no, I, I, don't, I don't trust that shit. I, 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 I don't blame people, like his viewers, for, for believing that story. But just as a general lesson, a, a streamer of Slicker's size is never going to have money trouble unless quite literally they have an absolutely debilitating gambling addiction and they have spent every dime. If I remember correctly, he, he holds 5k subs, right? Somewhere in that ballpark, 3 to 5k subs. You have to be remarkably irresponsible with your money to be anywhere close to not well off. Because that's just subs. No, he holds around 1.6 now. What? When he was on my League of Legends team, he had like 5k subs. What happened? That was only like 8 months ago. He has 600 subs and averages 600 viewers. Well, I'm going to look for myself. Because if that's true, that's a 
colossal fall off in a very short amount of time. Oh, wow. What the fuck happened? Did he stop streaming? My lord. That shit's looking like Netflix stock. He's awake right now. I know for sure he's awake. Yeah, he probably asked for money around for this time. I know for sure he's awake. I don't give a shit. I, dude. His mods were unbanned. Is he using Skype? People. He scammed his own mods? Are you fucking kidding me? That's not surprising. He scammed everyone. That's equal opportunity scamming right there, baby. He tweeted he'll address it tomorrow. I have no doubt that'll go well. Unless this is all, like, one giant disinformation campaign. I, I don't know how you really come back from it. But there's so many reports from so many streamers, viewers, and mods. I don't know how you come back from it. He even filmed himself asking for money. But I'm always open to hearing the other side. And I know that stream's gonna be a banger. You might be banned by tomorrow, huh? Like, what do you, what do you mean, why would you get banned? What do you mean? Bro, bro, I'll just say it here as well. My intentions were not to scam. I have paid a few people back, but I'll say it on stream tomorrow. Okay. Well, why did okay, you pay the sure. streamers back and not the people who... Oh. That doesn't really save it, though. If the intention wasn't to scam, that's not really the problem. Here's my, my guess. The intention was to make up for losses from gambling... And his idea was not too dissimilar from like a, like a pyramid scheme almost, right? You take in a big influx of money and you pay the investors back with the, the incoming stuff, right? So his idea was probably, I'll take this money in, I'll win big gambling, and I'll pay them back, and now I'm up. Or Ponzi. Ponzi, not pyramid. Ponzi. Sorry, I got him fucked up. That's my guess. Again, I, I'm not super familiar with Slicker, but that's what it sounds like to me. Mm -hmm. I fully believe him that his intention wasn't just to take money from these people without paying them back. He truly believed he would be able to make more money with their money and pay them back. But you know how that goes. He could start a GoFundMe. <laughs> yeah. Feel really bad for all those people. That's a lost a lot of lost money. Yeah. You can't help but feel bad for the people that thought they were doing a good thing to help out someone they liked. Bro, imagine though. Imagine Slicker won big. Fucking fat big buckaroos. The massive mega jackpot Omega Millions. He pays everyone back and he's still viewed positively. Just get better at gambling, idiot. It's free money. Eventually. Yep, that's the stat. 90% of gamblers quit right before the big win. Heartbreaking. But the good news is it doesn't seem like he ever quit, so he's still due for that big win. Do you think he can get arrested for this? I don't know, man. What do I look like? The authorities? I have no fucking clue. Uh, I guess it would depend on what the people he scammed choose to do. Because, I mean, you, you can't, like, scam legally, right? Like, you can get sued. So it'd be up to them to, like, press it forward. But then they'd be out even more money. So here's his first ask. So looking for a thousand bucks here. Which which is, like, the standard ask he seems to have been doing. Oh, I see my cam's blocking it. I'll just read it. I don't feel like moving the cam. If I asked, would it be okay uh, to borrow and I get you when I'm back? Don't worry, King, you can say no. Keep it personal as well because I'm embarrassed. I recorded that because they won't allow screenshots on the app. Is $1,000 okay? I got you an extra. Are you able to do Bitcoin King in case you think I'm hacked? Uh, or PayPal is fine. Thank you so much. It's okay. It would mean a lot. But believe me, 1K is fine. Thank you. I got it. So that's Lakari. He sent through the money. Uh, Slicker confirmed he got it. And then uh, this is Slicker attempting to pay him back. He shows a screenshot of money that was supposedly sent to Lakari, but then it turns out it wasn't 
it turns out it was canceled. So he's like, oh, what, what, what in tarnation? What the fuck? That's weird. It's gone from my bank now. So they didn't pay him back. Oh, no. How is this? It just keeps getting worse. Botez lended him 10K. Oh. Did she just say that? Let's see. This is, this is hot off the press right now. I wonder if we can tally up the total amount that he was able to scam. If enough people come forward with their receipts. They're tallying it up on Asmin's stream and they're saying it's right around 200k plus. Not bad. <laughs> not, not bad. Wow. Damn, he's good. Yeah, he's good. I'm surprised he was able to do it for so long, especially with such a weird opener. Again, like, look at these screenshots. Almost all of them start with, how old are you? I immediately went to the very only one that isn't opened like that. Okay, my god. Yeah. Just a cold opener with, how, how old are you? That's just with random viewers, though. He was far more personal with streamers and friends. I just pulled up the uh, Lakari post. I Yeah, I, I agree. He was a lot more, like, um... I wouldn't necessarily say personal, though. He just made it a lot sadder. So, like, with Lakari, he was like, Look, you can say no. It's totally fine if you say no. I'll still think you're a king. But listen, king, I need a thousand bucks. And again, you can say no, but it'd really mean a lot to me if you gave me a thousand dollars. Believe me, I'll pay you back and then some. So, if a thousand bucks would be really appreciated. But again, you don't have to. But I would really appreciate it if you did. Here's my PayPal. Let me some Tempest. I don't, th so, on, apparently on Asmin's stream, they're tallying it up and they're saying it's, a, like, a little north of 200k. I don't think it's 200k. If I had to guess based on all of the ones I know about, like, that I've seen so far, I would say it's probably right around that 125 to 150 grand ballpark. That would be my guess. I don't know how many of his mods he scammed, though. That's the thing. Train did give him a hundred thousand dollars. Not surprised. Is this, of, uh, I, I will just, I will, I will never want. I'm is this is this true? Two hundred thousand. My father hears this. I will have to. I need to get help. That's I true. How? I always wished I could get help from it. There are so many courses and places to help with gambling addiction. There's a ton of options. Keep a little bit for myself. Gamble the money. See if I can win. Maybe owe people back with that money. I lose that money. Exactly I what I thought. Alone. I don't know what to do. Then I ask someone else. Hey, can you give me five hundred? That is exactly money. what we were Gamble all speculating. Top. Unlucky. This is not a man. These gambling sites you're witnessing. Um, yeah, I was actually gonna take. I was gonna do some sponsors. Um, I don't know. Um, I mean, so far it seems like he's not making any excuses. He's not trying to sugarcoat it. He has a gambling addiction. How can he trust me? And it's completely ruined him. How can he trust? Him? Started with CS:GO. Like he would use the money he'd beg for for CS:GO cases, or is that is that where he attributes like the start of his addiction? What you just saw is legitimate gambling addiction. The darkest side of it. People like to downplay it a lot, but that is actually life ruining. What's the stat? One in four gambling addicts take their own life. It's it is a legitimately like life ruining addiction that people make light of. It's one in five. Ah, uh, one in five. I knew it was something like that. But you have to push for the max win. I mean, you're right. You guaranteed a max win at some point in your life. It's just a matter of are you man enough to stick it out. That's right. Amen, brother. I hope Slicker gets the help that he needs. Gambling addiction is fucking rough. And hopefully the people that got scammed get their money back somehow. So, here. Let me see the clips. Chat was kind of giving me the, the dirty details as they unfolded. It seems that roughly, what, 50 or so victims... And the clips have an update. Oh, here we go. Ever since CS and Train, Trainwrecks TV 
gave a hundred grand, like just straight up from that's one person a hundred grand. And we also know Luke AFK gave twenty eight grand. We know Botez gave ten grand, and these are just some of the heavy hitters. So it's definitely over two hundred, very very well over two hundred. Skull, not to blame, but ever since Sea Skull Lounge came out, I was it. It was the first time I went on that site, and I. Uh... He himself was like, "Yeah, no one should really defend me. You can't. It, it's an indefensible thing." It's, yes, it is a legitimate illness, but I mean, it's not like that's an excuse to scam this many people for this long. Drain gave him 100k to pay off all debt and then cut all contact with him after. Oh, and he didn't use it to pay people back? <laughs> what was fucking sad, I'm man? not a victim. I'm not a victim. Man, well, I never knew this table was gonna come, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is just fucking sad. That's that's just making me sad. I don't know why you'd tell me to watch that. Fake tears. Uh, it's hard to say. Gambling addiction is a real thing, though. He deserves all this backlash for scamming for so long. It's still just a very sad thing overall, though. I don't want to see a guy fucking break down about it. Like, you can feel bad for someone's mental health while also condemning their actions. Again, gambling addiction is a very real thing. It's a genuine illness, but it doesn't excuse anything he did. So I don't feel bad that he got called out for it and now his whole career's in the shitter from it. That was his decision to keep going. Apparently Train even tossed him a hundred grand lifeline to pay everyone back and he gambled it away instead. But that still doesn't mean I want to celebrate watching him cry on stream.